Begin in a cross-legged, comfortable seat, allowing the eyes to softly close, the shoulders to stack over the hips, and the air to enter and exit through the nostrils. Allow the breath to be nice and even, the length of the inhales matching the length of the exhales. Try just to focus on the air entering and exiting through the nose. And then breathe both palms into your heart, bowing the head to the hands. When you're ready, send the palms and gaze up on the inhale. Exhale, float the hands back down to the lap. Send the palms back up and gaze up on inhale. Exhale, palms down in front of heart. From here, rest both of the palms in the lap. Place the right palm to your right side. Send the left palm or arm up on inhale, gazing up if possible. And the exhale, float the left hand back down, send the right arm up on the inhale. And then exhale, float the right hand back down to lap. Send both arms up on inhale and exhale, send palms back down in front of heart. Send both palms back up on inhale. Use the left hand to lift the right wrist up on the inhale, exhale, lean over to the left. You're lengthening the right side of body, keeping a neutral neck. Send the hands back up on the inhale, right hand lifts left wrist up, and you'll exhale over to your right side. Neutral neck. And you'll come back up on the inhale, and exhale, float both palms back down. From here, you'll roll the shoulders up and back together behind, interlacing all ten fingers, finding a nice grip, the bind, and on exhale, folding forwards. So hands or knuckles are coming away from the head. You'll fold forwards only as much as is comfortable. As you inhale, lift the upper body up, keeping the interlacer bind behind, and just kind of turning left to right, twisting slightly to loosen the middle back. From here, you'll send the right arm across the body or chest using the left hand to give it a stretch. And then you'll switch sides, bringing the left arm across the body or chest using the right arm to give it a stretch. From here, you'll just uncross both of the legs and find your way over to a tabletop position. You'll plant the knees under the hips and the wrists under the shoulders. On your inhale, the belly will dip down, the head and hips will tilt up. On the exhale, the back rounds, you'll open the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, expand the chest, gaze up if possible. Exhale to round the back, drawing chin to chest. Inhale, you'll look up. And exhale, you'll round the back. This time you'll send the right knee up to the ceiling. And exhale, the right knee into chest or nose. Inhale, pulse the right knee or leg up, look up. Exhale, pulse the knee into chest or nose. Inhale, back up and exhale, pulse in, rounding the back. Inhale up one more time, expand the chest, and exhale to pulse in. You'll plant the right knee down, bend the left knee, lift it skyward, look up if possible on inhale, exhale to round the knee in. Inhale as you look up, and exhale to round the back. Inhaling to lift, and exhaling to round. Again, inhaling to lift, gazing up, expand the chest, Exhale to round knee into nose. Set both knees back down and just curl the toes under, bringing the toes closer to the knees to bring a stretch to the backs of the feet. And then when you're ready, press back the hips up and away towards a downward facing dog. You'll make sure you really focus on that length and spine, drawing a nice long spine, long arms, possibly keeping a little bend to the knees or maybe bending or straightening one leg or the other. On your exhale, you'll bend both knees and look ahead, step to the top of your mat. Inhale up halfway to a flat back, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift up to standing, and exhale, send the palms to heart. Bring the palms and gaze up on inhale, exhale, bend from the hips to fold. Come halfway up to a flat back on inhale, exhale, you'll plant the hands, step the left foot back, the right foot back, and then exhale, high to low here, chaturanga, high to low push up. Inhale, expand the chest, and exhale, back downward facing dog. Hips traveling away from the hands. Shoulders are relaxed from the ears. Again, you can keep a small bend to the knees. You're focusing on the length and spine. Navel is drawn in and up towards the spine. 
and shift your weight forwards on the inhale to a plank position, lifting the right leg if you can to a one-legged plank. Shoulders are over the wrists. And then switch, lifting the left leg to a one-legged plank, building a bit of warmth in body. And then release both feet. Again, you'll exhale high to low plank. Inhale, expand the chest, gaze up. Exhale, back down with facing dog. Soften shoulders from the ears. On the exhale, bend the knees and look ahead and travel back to top of mat. Come up halfway on the inhale. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, drop to standing. And exhale, send palms to heart. Again, you'll lift the shoulders up and back, drawing them together behind you, interlacing all ten fingers behind the back. Bending the knees into a chair position. If you can, you'll lift the right heel, just bringing a stretch to the right foot. Maybe you'll switch sides, lifting just the left heel, bringing a stretch to the left foot. And then exhale to two straight legs, folding forward, sending those interlaced fingers over your head or towards the wall in front of you, trying to allow the shoulder blades to relax, keeping a neutral neck. On the inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms all the way overhead to chair pose. And then exhale, fold forwards. Lift up halfway on the inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back, bend the right knee over ankle, lift the arms up into a high lunge. On the exhale, same as before, the shoulder blades draw together behind back, fingers interlace behind back, chest is expanded. On the exhale, you'll start to fold forwards, allowing upper body to come towards your right thigh. Try not to let the belly rest on the thigh. Arms are coming skyward. Left heel is lifted off the mat or ground. And you'll inhale, lift the arms back up to that high lunge. Exhale, plant both hands towards the top of the mat. Step up to the top of the mat to forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift up to standing. Exhale, send palms to heart. Again, lift on the inhale, look up. Exhale, bend to fold forwards. Lift halfway on inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the right foot back. Left knee over the ankle. Arms up to a lunge, high lunge. Exhale, the fingers to interlace behind the back. Shoulder blades draw together. Chest is lifted. Lengthen through the spine on inhale and exhale to fold forwards. Again, allowing those fingers to lift up or hands to lift towards ceiling. Keeping the right heel lifted. Keeping the belly from resting on the thigh. Inhale as you lift back up, releasing the arms, high lunge, and exhale, plant the hands towards top of mat. This time, step the body back to a plank position. Exhale, travel high to low. Inhale, expand the chest, upward dog, and exhale, back downward dog. On your next inhale, you'll lift the right leg skyward, swing the right foot through, plant it to the top of mat between hands, lift both arms up to a high lunge, right knee over ankle. On your next inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, send both palms in front of heart and bend to fold forwards here. Coming to a flat back, keeping the belly drawn into the spine. And then slowly release that right hand to the right shin. Both legs are straight, left arm travels up towards the ceiling to triangle. You can keep a neutral neck or you can gaze down or up if balanced. The next exhale, bend the right knee, bring both arms to a T, warrior two. Gaze over the front hand. Softly release the left hand to left thigh. Send the right arm skyward on inhale, reversing the warrior. And then exhale, plant both palms towards the top of mat. Kicking back to a plank position, exhale, travel high to low. Inhale to upward dog and exhale back, downward dog, hips away from hands. We'll inhale the left leg skyward, then plant the left foot between both hands. Inhale up to a high lunge, left knee over the ankle. Next inhale, you'll straighten the left leg. Exhale the palms in front of the heart and bend from the hips to fold forwards here, coming to a flat back, allowing back to come parallel to the ground as best you can. Keeping the left hip pressed back just a bit. You'll release then the left palm or hand to the left shin, send the right arm skyward on inhale, triangle pose. And drawing the head away from the hips to lengthen torso. On 
On the next exhale, bend the left knee, bring both arms to a T. The gaze over front left hand on warrior two. Exhale, release the right hand to right leg, send left arm skyward. And then exhale, bring both hands to the top of mat. Step it back to your plank position and exhale, travel high to low. Inhale, expand the chest, upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Breath in and out through the nostrils. On your exhale, soften down to both knees here. Now keep the left wrist planted to the ground. Send the right arm skyward on inhale, looking up. Exhale, you'll pulse the right hand underneath the torso or across the body, twisting. Inhale, you'll lengthen. Exhale, you'll pulse the right hand in. Again, you'll lengthen. Inhale and exhale. Cross that right arm underneath the body. If you can, softening the right shoulder down to the ground. If you need a little bit more space, you can separate the knees a bit. You can keep the left arm extended out in front of you, up to the ceiling, or wrapped around the body behind the back. Just finding the most comfortable twist you can, keeping the left shoulder open, keeping the belly drawn into the spine. As you slowly exhale and release that hand back to the ground, you'll press up to tabletop position. Take a few cat cows, finding that tilt, that upwards lifting through the head and tailbone on inhale, and that rounding of the back on the exhale. Take one more. Once you come back to that neutral spine, the right hand stays to the ground, left arm lifts up on inhale, gazing up. And exhale, pulse the left arm under across the body. Sort of lifting on the inhale, exhaling to pulse that left arm under. One more time, even if you like. Or as you slide that left hand through, threading the needle here, you can again keep that right arm extended to the top of the mat, up to the ceiling, or behind the back. Finding the best opening in right shoulder, belly draws in and up towards the tailbone. As you exhale, both hands will come back to the ground or mat. You'll come back to that neutral tabletop position. Take a few more cat cows. Tilting up on the inhale, rounding on the exhale. From here, you'll curl the toes under and press the hips up and away to downward facing dog. Relax the shoulders from the ears. On your exhale, bend the knees and look ahead, step or hop to the top of mat. Travel up halfway on the inhale, exhale as you fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift both arms to chair pose. Again, you can lift the right heel if you like, or the left heel if you like, or maybe both heels. Again, you'll send the fingers to that interlace behind back, shoulder blades up and back together. And then exhale, straighten the legs and fold forwards, allowing those shoulders to soften, the hands to come away from the head. Bend the knees one more time, send the arms skyward on inhale, and exhale back to a forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to your plank, exhale, travel high to low. Inhale, expand the chest, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Send the right leg skyward on inhale, swing the right foot through, and then soften down to the left knee. Keep the left wrist under shoulder, inhale right arm skyward. If you can, you'll bend that left knee and try to use the right hand to grab the left foot if possible. A twisted bind. You'll try to keep the right inner thigh hugging into chest and just keep a nice smooth breath here. When you're ready, softly release that foot. Allow the hands to travel back to the top of mat. And then curl the back toes under. Lift that right leg skyward on inhale. Keep the right leg lifted as you shift the weight forward to a one-legged plank. And then bring the left wrist under the left shoulder. Send the right arm skyward into side plank or vasistasana. You can keep both feet at the end of the mat or one knee to the ground for more support. 
On your exhale, release back to a full plank and then press back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you'll send the left leg skyward, swing the left foot through to the top of mat, soften down to the right knee, right wrist under shoulder, inhale left arm skyward. And if possible, you'll maybe release that left hand to the ground, bend the right knee. And then if you can, use that left hand to grab slowly the back right knee or foot. Back right foot, sorry. Finding a nice twist. Keeping the left inner thigh hugging into chest. Smooth breath through nose. And softly release that bind, releasing both hands. Pull the back toes under, lift the left leg skyward on inhale. Keep the leg lifted as you shift the weight forward to a plank position, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, release to that full plank, keeping the right wrist under the right shoulder. Inhale, open left arm skyward into side plank. Any variation, feet to the end or one knee to the ground. Now exhale, release back to the plank position. Soften down to the knees this time. Exhale, lower the chest down to the ground. Inhale, lift the chest back up, drawing the elbows in. And then exhale slowly back to a child's pose. Feel free to separate the knees apart a little bit. You can find an active stretch under the hands or arms or just release the elbows, softening the arms, relaxing everything. Allowing tailbone to relax or bottom to relax towards the heels. Allowing the air to enter and exit evenly. On your next inhale, lift up to a tabletop position and just find your way over to a seat. From here, you'll keep the sit bones rooted into the ground, extend the right leg out in front of you so right leg is connected to ground and draw the left heel into the groin. You'll send both arms up on an inhale. Exhale, rotate to your right and fold over that right leg or shin. Relaxing the shoulders from the ears. You'll then send that left hand outside the right leg or shin and inhale the right arm open to a twist. You'll then release that right hand back to the right leg. Send the left arm skyward and inhale. Side stretch. And then release both hands here towards the ground. Use, if you can, the right piece fingers to grab the right big toe or the right foot or ankle and lift the right leg up off the ground. You can keep the knee bent if you need or straight leg. You'll inhale, open the left arm to a twist. And then rotate that left hand over to the right foot or leg. Inhale, the right arm open to a twist. You'll release then both hands and leg to the ground. From here you'll bend the knees, coming into boat pose or navasana. Bend the knees, lifting the legs, keeping legs bent or straight, keeping a nice firm low back. Take a full breath in and out. And then exhale, plant the feet back to the ground. You'll extend the left leg this time, keeping the left leg connected to ground, drawing the right ankle into the groin. Lift the arms on inhale and exhale, fold over that left leg. Relax the shoulders, keep the left leg connected to the ground. Use the right hand, reach it outside the left shin. Inhale, left arm open to a twist, drawing the belly in and up. And then exhale that left hand to left leg. Inhale the right arm overhead, lengthening right side of body, maybe gazing up. And then exhale, release both hands here to the ground. You'll bend the knee, use the two left piece fingers to grab a hold of left big toe, ankle or foot, lift the left leg. Inhale, open right arm to a twist. Again, left leg can stay bent or straight. And then exhale, switch. Right hand grabs a hold of left foot. Inhale, open left arm. As you exhale, you'll unwind and slowly release both legs and hands back to the ground.
bring both soles of feet in together here for Baddha Konasana. Grabbing a hold of the feet, pulling them into the groin, lengthen the spine on inhale, and exhale as you start to fold forwards. So only folding as much as is comfortable for your body or hips. As the elbows touch the shins or thighs, you can gently press them down towards the ground. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed from the ears. Take one more breath in. Exhale, slowly release your air. As you inhale, you'll come up, draw the knees in together, and just slowly lie down onto your back. Releasing the soles of feet to the ground here. And then lift both feet up to the ceiling, just drawing the feet upwards, making a few movements with the ankles or toes. Flexing or pointing the feet, and then slowly set the feet back down to the ground. Soles of feet are to the ground, knees are lifted. You'll lift the bottom off the mat, and then scoot your bottom over towards the left border of your mat, so you're crooked. Then slowly draw the knees into the chest, and allow the knees or legs to fall to the right side of body. A reclining twist. If you need a deeper twist, you'll cross the top leg over the bottom leg. And keep the arms relaxed to your sides. You'll gaze opposite direction of your knees. If you need a little bit of extra twist, you can use that right hand to press down gently on your legs or knees. When you're ready to unwind, just slowly draw both knees back into the chest. Wrap the hands around the shins. And just sway side to side softly for a moment, massaging the low back. And then set the heels or feet back down to the ground. Lift the bottom on inhale. Again, scoop the bottom over to the right border or side of mat. Drop it down. Draw the knees into the chest and the knees or legs over to the left side of body. Reclining twist. For a deeper stretch, you can cross the top leg over the bottom leg. Keep the arms relaxed to your T. The gaze opposite direction, your knees. Again, if you need a deeper twist, you can use the left hand to just grab softly over the top leg, over the legs. Take a full breath, even though the chest is compromised in your twist. Again, as you're ready to unwind, just slowly draw both knees back into the chest to neutralize the spine, rocking slowly side to side. And then you'll just release both of the feet towards the ground or mat. Find a nice comfortable position, allowing the body to feel completely relaxed. Feel free to open the feet a bit wider, inviting the ankles to roll open towards the ceiling. And then find a comfortable place for your hands. Maybe they relax out at both sides. Maybe the palms face up for a more receptive feeling. Prefer to feel a bit more centered or grounded, you can flip the palms down. Just allowing the body and muscles to completely relax, body to feel heavy. Trying to let go of any control over the breath. And continuing just to allow the air to enter and exit. Doing so with an ease without effort. Should anything arise in the mind, I'll acknowledge that thought, or notion, or feeling, and then just allow it to pass, and again, Allow the air to enter and exit the nostrils with ease.
You might note the belly as it rises on the inhale and as it falls back to spine on the exhale. Belly rising on the inhale, falling back to spine on the exhale. And I begin to bring a little bit more awareness back to the body, noting how the body feels. Just lift when you're ready both palms and place them on the belly, keeping the eyelids closed, eyelids heavy. And just one at a time, lift the feet, the soles of feet up to the mat, lifting the knees skywards, keeping the hands relaxed and belly or abdomen. And then take a nice full body stretch here. Just lift the arms overhead, stretching the upper body. And slowly, just kind of find your way up to a comfortable seat, a cross-legged seat. Try and keep the eyes closed if you can. Once you come seated, you'll slide the skin away from each sit bone. And keep a nice tall spine here, the shoulders stacked over the hips. The eyelids closed, the chin pointing just slightly downwards. On your next inhale, lift both palms up, and then exhale into a twist to your right, releasing the right hand behind the back, keeping the left hand to the either left knee or right knee. Lifting through the top of spine and twisting over to the right, bringing gaze over right shoulder if you can. As you unwind or twist back to the center, you can lift both arms again on the inhale, and exhale over to the left, placing that left hand behind the back, right arm to right or left knee, lifting up to the ceiling on inhale, twisting over to the left on the exhale. Eyes can stay open or closed. Your next exhale, and one back to the center, send both palms up on the inhale, exhale, draw the palms in front of heart. Keeping a nice tall spine, releasing hands to the left. Send the palms up on inhale again. Exhale, palms down in front of heart. Grounding. Palms release to the thighs. Inhale, arms up one more time. Lengthen. Exhale, send the palms into the heart. Grounding. Drawing the head down towards the hands. Bowing in honor of your practice. Of the time you make for yourself the greater space you've created in body. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. See you again soon.